Hello, welcome library patrons. This is Wendy McVicker, Athens Poet Laureate, coming to you uh, thanks to the Athens County Public Library System and especially Becca Lockman who invited me to uh, spend this time with you, gave me this lovely opportunity. So um, my plan is to bring you a poem once a month on the second Friday of the month from a book in the library's collection, which I will then, of course, quickly return to the library so that you too can take it out and enjoy it should you wish to do so. So today's poem is by Bianca Lynn Spriggs. It is from this collection, Red Holler, contemporary Af Appalachian literature. And Bianca Spriggs, also known as Bianca Lynn Spriggs, uh, lives in Athens at the moment. And she is a celebrated Afrolatian poet. And Afrolatian poets are um, black poets who live in Appalachia. We tend to think of Appalachians, when we get a picture in our mind of an Appalachian, we tend to think of white folks. Um, but there are many people of color who live in our region as well and who call it home. And the Appalachian poets um, coined that term. I think Frank X. Walker um, started this group about 25 years ago. And um, they're going strong. They're going strong. So this poem by Bianca Spriggs is called, I Would Make a Good Owl. And I chose it in part because I think all of us have imagined at one time or another uh, how interesting it would be to be some other animal, um, to have the powers of that animal, the skills of that animal, to extend ourselves beyond our human boundaries into the oceans, the streams, into the high trees, into the sky. And uh, we're living in a time when it can be a little hard to be human. And so I think it's kind of fun to think about being some other animal. Um, and so here you have Bianca Spriggs, I Would Make a Good Owl. And this poem starts with an epigraph, which is a little quotation uh, from somebody else. And this epigraph is by Edward Lear from The Owl and the Pussycat, which perhaps you already know. The owl looked up to the stars above and sang to a small guitar. If I could choose, I would be Tito Alba, the barn owl. I like the look of her face. I think I could live in a tree, a high sweet pine, or in some cave nook, low light, plenty of bats. Instead of arms, I imagine gilded wings spread across the charcoal night. Given the right nature, I could kill small nesting furred things taking their warm, trembling bodies off, my fleshy talons holding them with hundreds of times the grip of the strongest man alive. Each night I would hunt, quiet as the moon, returning to cough up collapsed bones and pelts damp with digestion into the mouths of my owls. I would be a good owl, make my way through this world on a song sung to stars. So there you go. I think that we flew with Bianca Springs, uh, Spriggs as she hunted on the charcoal night on gilded wings. And I would invite you to consider what animal might you like to be today? And begin to write down 
some of the things you would see and do, places you would go, and share your poem with the library. So thank you so much for being with me today. I'm Wendy McVicker, Athens Poet Laureate, reading to you from Red Holler Contemporary Appalachian Literature. Thank you to the Athens County Libraries and Becca Lockman. See you next month.